I wish I could say I hate you, but I don't. See, I feel sorry for you. I have written your eulogy in three ways. First, as an empire of excuses that hence without I know you did your best. Two, as a cocktail of chaos. A cacophony of the million ways I have made my life into a middle finger for your legacy. Three, as an ode to the snowflakes that will be found in hell if I ever shed a tear for you. See, I have mourned you with my childhood. Two cost things that hopefully cancels each other out like the negatives in a mathematical equation. If I am wicked, you are the wickedness that created me. It is hard for a man to reap what he did not plant where he did not water. Let your Mr. Bushy call you now. Let your Opeke there tell you about his day. Let your Bitu give your grandchildren because I am not your son. I do not owe you love. I only owe you decency, the responsibility of a firstborn son in an African society. My biography knows that I do not have a father. Its pages are silent about you. And if you think this is eight, you have no idea what I am capable of.